Welcome back to some more Race Driver Grid Part 8. Now, in this part, I've done uh, one other thing that I that will continue on throughout the rest of the LP because uh, thank, I was found a link to it, and I think it would be really interesting to maybe some of you guys who play the game here on PC as well. Now, of course, you may actually. Now, of course, you probably actually know that I have. I mentioned that I have the DLC when I mentioned Part One. I got the official DLC for this game installed. But the one thing that for many years is that it never let you use the DLC outside of the arcade mode. Well, thanks to this mod that I've come across, it now allow we we can now actually use it outside of the arcade mode, which means we can use it in in upcoming events. So, if for example I go to the Pro Tunes thing here, we can actually use one of the DLC cars here, which is a Mitsubishi Eve Lancer Evolution 10. Now the rest, of course, have already been in the game, so you know, you have your 350Z, you got your Super, you got your Z2, and you got your NSXR. I'm not gonna buy a Z2 right now because we are gonna end up, we are gonna get it from another thing later, anyways, where it becomes mandatory because it's the only car you can use. But I am gonna use the Evo 10. In fact, you can see here that over here it actually shows the, their little icons. Uh, in fact, ooh, look, at some of, I like some of these. This was 132,000. Sure, it's 115 rate. Hmm. I'd say let's save a bit of money and let's gonna go get this one. And let's do just just to confirm. There's a quick look around, and yes, it is indeed the Evolution 10. This was a DLC vehicle, and now we've got it in Grid World. So this make this should make the uh, LP a little bit more interesting because it'll give us a bit more variety of cars, which is always nice. So let's actually go see how the Evo 10 will compare to its competition. I've raced nearly 300 kilometers now, apparently. Oh, I don't care about his trophies. I care about how he does around the track. I must say, this sounds no- Oh, whoops. Derp. I must say, this sounds nothing like an Evo, ten an Evo at all, but whatever. There's a lot of cars that don't quite sound right in this game. I don't think the engine noise was the top priority for uh, Codemasters for this game. That being said, though, this this thing is catching up pretty, pretty damn quickly. It's it's uh, making its way up the field with relative ease. Not not too much effort needed here. I mean, to be fair, this is not really a particularly difficult track, but even. Even still, look. This thing is this thing is climbing positions fairly simply. I'm nearly already in first place, and this is still lap number one. Even, even despite that botched start. Wow, this is looking this is looking nice. Oh, Ken almost lost it there. Managed to get him on the inside. Look at that. I've even beaten this game's supposed world record on. In the first lap on a standing start with a botched start even. This this see how fucking moves. This is a very quick car, man. No wonder why they might have not made you use it before. This thing just demolishes the field. Even the Z tune, which is supposed to be usual which is normally the quickest, the Evo 10 just makes mincemeat of it. It's, it's ridiculous. Oh boy. Okay, well I screwed that one up pretty badly. That was more on me. Alright, keep it in second. Up. Oh. Get around there. there. Looking okay. Yeah, it, again, it I guess the botch start was because I haven't played a game with a manual using manual in a while. I use manual in this game because, personally, in this game, manual feels it feels really nice to use the manual. It works quite well. Very simple. I like I like games where the manual just feels smooth like this. I don't like it where it's slow or just kind of throws a lot of things off, which is why I don't use it in a bunch of different games. But I mean, I could probably get learn to get used to it in those games, but honestly, I just kind of prefer a, the smooth transitions like you see here with Grid as well, and as well as. Gran Turismo 3 and hot and up like I don't like I don't use any I don't use uh, automatic in any Gran Turismo beyond Gran Turismo 3 anymore uh, so it just it really just depends on the game 
But this is one of those games where I can comfortably use the manual. Right around there. Oh! Almost ran into the back of the truck there. Wouldn't want that. Damn, almost sub one minute. Point oh two. Very, very close, but still this this fucking Lancer just goes. But yeah, even just I I fell like pretty close down at the bottom there at the start, but this thing just climbed with like again with fairly relative ease. Could that be a that could be a pretty good thumbnail shot right there? Something like that. In fact, there we go. Make it. I could do it like that and make it a little bit easier. But yeah, something like that would be pretty good. But yeah, I like to at least do this so that way I don't end up forgetting. So I can at least have a thumbnail shot. Anyways, next race. See, so yeah, that wasn't the perfect run, so I don't think I'm going to get all. Oh, yeah, that's right. I actually don't have any of my. Uh, sponsor set to without taking damage or something like that oh believe me I'm not worried about a zero I really wish the game would give you better uh, choices of where you start it usually always puts you as usually in the career mode you never you never start as high up as it at least in the middle of the pack like here it's a bit of a, it's a, bit of a shame Sorry, sir. Excuse me. Gotta move. I... This is a, this seems to be four laps. Not. Oh, one of the NSXs has spun. Yeah, Shiro Okawa. Thank you for telling me. Because I'm usually not paying attention to the to the uh, the top left anyway. So. Oh, that's the fence. Wow, now, yeah, now, oh, and the other NSX has spun out, too. Both those NSXs from the same team have spun out. That is very interesting. Oh, hey, look, it's two, two Z-Tunes, and they're both Ken's. Ken Hori and Ken Azura. Sorry. God. I'm a bit of a Fender Bender man at times. I can't admit that. You know, sometimes you just get a little carried away. You think you can just push it a little more, and then suddenly, poop, you end up running into the back of them. That's not exactly a recommended racing tactic in most situations, but in a game like this, it's not exactly going to harm you too bad. Anyways, we got to get up to Hori. We got to get ourselves into first. He's pushing. He's doing the Enzo Vico thing from a couple episodes ago. But... This Lancer fucking pulls, so he's gonna have to he's gonna have to try to fight it off, which he can't do. That was a little bit dirty, I must say, but you know, not particularly too bad. So you know, we'll work with that. Anyways, we'll try to get this around here. Ooh, that was that actually worked quite well. Just kind of get around the corner early like that, because then I can kind of slide it in. That, that was pretty good. That seems like every lap I'm doing that. It seems. Whoa, got a bit of a big jump there from the hitting the street curb. Or the curb, at least. I'm not even sure if it's a street curb. Probably is, but, you know, whatever. But, yeah, I'm, I'm, gonna tr I'm trying to get this thing sliding around the corners like that. It seems to work very well. Yeah, that was smooth. Thirty-seven seventy-five. That was a, that was a damn good lap. And again, just because it's it, it's always amusing to watch it go like this. Maybe dark, but that's a pretty cool shot there too. Again, I I like to just I sometimes like to do is just kind of have some uh, variety and stuff just so I can kind of look at all the different things I could do and think hmm what in Heinz what when I when I decide to put the video up which will probably be very shortly when you're when I'm recording this oh now that that's good there too I like I like this that one I can zoom in a bit and make it look pretty good anyways again I don't want to spend too much time there because you're more interested in watching me do the races so 
Let's keep that moving. I think it was the. I'm pretty sure it was the only Evo 10 because you're not. No one else is usually supposed to have it, but that's fine. I'm surprised I can't skip this now. Usually supposed. To, oh, I know why. That's why. That's right. Because I've hit eighty thousand, the eighty thousand mark. It means I can actually. I got my my second license in the Japanese area or J Speed, which means I can access a new tier of events. And our sponsors are Charge Speed, Wolf Race Wheels, and Jun. Alright, so now we've, because we actually got to the pro area, we now can actually hire ourselves a, a teammate. We got, we got a couple, we got a few options here. We've got Seth Brown, whose specialty is in open wheel. We've got Gianni Fazio, whose specialty is in pro tune. And another specialty in pro tune, Aiji Matsuki. Now, this, it may seem like we only have, like, you know, three different choices here, but there actually is, you know, Quite a few choices we can. I'm consider even though his skill's not the highest, I'm considering going with Seth Brown out of these few because because he see he's he's the best when it comes to consistency. But I'm also considering, but you know, Gianni has the best skill but is the least consistent. But then there's also Ig who is you know fairly consistent, but also far less aggressive and very aware. So so. Let's go, but you know, I think consistency is a good thing to have. So let's go with Seth Brown. Really? This guy? Okay, you're the boss. I get the feeling that no matter who you choose, that's gonna be her answer. Now the the one thing I I can mention is that you there's actually a lot more people you can hire. You, if you ever want to find someone else, you can go to hire the driver here. But keep in mind that some of them you're going to have to pay a signing fee for some of the really good, for some of the really good drivers. For in fact, here's someone who's it got incredible skill, very good with reactions, but has almost no consistency. Misaki Hasayama. In fact, I could even get people above my ranking right now. So, for example, here's Nori Hidaka. Very, extremely rare, extremely reacted, very good with skill, and very consistent. But two, but it, had, it would it would take two hundred and fifty thousand dollars to sign, which is a lot of money. There's Masaki Watanabe. Again, some of these drivers who are usually above me. See here, look at this. Three hundred and fifty thousand dollars. So that's that's basically the reason they give you some of the other drive those drivers first because it, it won't cost you it won't they won't cost you anything to hire. In fact, how high can we go up? Let's the highest ranked driver that we can go up to. Who's the highest one? Oh, we found it. In 79th place, it is Kush Kalsi. Only a hundred ninety thousand dollars, so not as high as the other ones, but n again, not very consistent. And to me, I think cons cons having consistency would be a good thing. Like, oh my god, look at this, Aki Kogaji, extremely consistent, extremely skillful, one point five million and fifty percent of the winnings too. So yeah. Look at that, 1.9 million for Malaysian Hashiro Kaiba. Or Kiba. Not really sure how you say it. So yeah. Whilst we, I will of course eventually over time, you know, get these, get some of these uh, drivers. Uh, they're just too much right now and I, I can't afford them. I have 840,000, which is fine, but. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. 
you, any that don't actually show up seeing it, they won't actually accept when the higher you end up ranking the more options you have so yeah if you if you don't like if you aren't if you're willing to spend the money some money and you and you don't like the, f the few drivers it gives you definitely make sure to tr look to to look out here you'll definitely find some things but for now, I, we're going to stick with Seth Brown until we get some more money so we can get ourselves a better driver. Anyways, now let's look at our sponsors. Right, June is actually fairly good at 6,500. It's the third highest. So let's put June on our car. <laughs> Thank you, phone. Anyways, Avon Tires will go down here. Because, again, I, I'm always the kind of guy who likes to, you know, keep the money rolling. And then we can... Let's go champions, because because that one is first, and this see so yeah, there you go. So there's our new sponsor. So I'll get a little bit more money, which is always nice. Now I spent enough time here, and in case you're wondering, your teammate will have the same car and a number after the number after yours. So if I'm 88, he'll be 89. Anyways, let's finally go to the next event. I've spent enough time talking here. We're going to go into America, we're going to do Touring Cars, the Quick Shift DC Challenge. Which is limited to one car, the Chevrolet Lassetti. Otherwise, I would have known it over here as the Chevrolet Optra. Let's check our eBay prices. Oh, we got a couple of 98,000s here. So let's go with this one, because this one has, been, has gotten 18 wins on her belt. This one has been in far less events, but it has won 16 times and has only been totaled, has been told two less times, but I think... But honestly, from what I'm starting to see, it doesn't really seem to matter how many times a car's been totaled, because it doesn't seem to make a difference on exactly how the car performs. It's just kind of a thing that they they want people, players to think, but not really. Okay, sure. You know, so anyways, there's our teammate. Look at that. He, he gets the privilege to start in front of us, even though... I'm a better, I'm technically a more advanced driver than he is. But yeah, I, there might, there might actually be some drivers in which the, the uh, your crew, your female pit crew or whatever, or whatever position she holds, I can't remember now. Well, she'll probably be like, great choice or something, but honestly, to me, she might only be saying that because of the aggression, but to me, it's, I needed someone who's a bit more consistent. Because consistency goes a long way. That's not exactly good news already. Thankfully, like, I think I might have prevented him from uh, really spending out. Meanwhile, as I, meanwhile, as I'm working my way up. So yeah, you actually, so yeah, what you'll get, you'll have drivers. Your your when you choose a teammate, your driver will actually speak to you. So. That so you know you that way you can get an update on how they're doing. Again, having a teammate early on isn't really going to do me a lot of favors because mostly you know they're not going to be the best. It's not until later on when we are going to be able to when we'll have more money to spend with and hire one of the really really good drivers where we'll uh, really see some huge benefits from it because the lower rank drivers they're going to usually be lower rank. In the in races for for a reason. Anyways, I gotta get myself up here. There we go, right up to third. Next, oh, right up to second. So now we just gotta get, just got past Tom Wibley. Oh boy, that we got a little hairy. Thankfully, nothing too serious. As this game will sometimes proclaim when it comes to damage. Alright, let's get the slipstream going. We gotta try to make it pass. Alright, here we go. Pass. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Although Wembley's keeping it close, I will say that. Oh, got a little bit carried away there. My door, my passenger doors swung open. And yes, I do say passenger door, even though this is a Lissetti, because it's left-hand drive here. It does make me wonder, if you go to the Euro events, does it become right-hand drive? Oh my god. Well, that happened, but I was able to save it. 
I still have, I have no idea where my teammate is because he's been dead silent. He's probably still all the way in the back, which means I won't get any, there won't really be any money. Again, Seth Brown is just the guy I have for now, but I will get some more drivers later on. I will get a better teammate later, later on. And there we go. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I just have no. I have no idea how Seth did. He probably came last because he was just pretty much dead silent after that slight spin there. I can look at that. That's how he basically was for there. Anyways, did he come last? Yeah, he did. So we we only get a we only finish with a measly 22 points because I mean it helps that I get 20 points, but he only added two points. Which means we're behind Amber Bridge Racing because they have 26, and USA US All Tech is also tied with us for 22. So whilst I made all my objectives, he made one, two. He made 11,000 for us. Well, I mean, you know. <laughs> Anyways, where is he now? Look at the look at it. Look at this. I am clearly the better driver so far. He came, I mean, he came last in the previous fucking race, and he starts three positions, and he started two positions ahead of us. What is this nonsense? Anyways, let's not worry about it. I mean, it, you know, it does help that he is further up, because I don't want him to come last again, because that'll be annoying. Oh shit! That was that could have been bad. Oh, someone sounds like they're having a bad time. Come on, Seth, get up, get get up some positions. Be drive angry. You have some, you have some aggression, don't you? Show it, show it to me. Show me your aggression. Yeah, just, man. All right. Anyways, let's try to get here. I gotta got some. I got some positions I need to make up. There we go. Sorry, uh, all right, no, you're not Mike Miller. You, you are Andy Cook. We do you cook? I don't know what I'm even saying. But yeah, I, I mean, with I th Seth hasn't really spawned, so I, I, I think he could still make some positions. I'm too far away now to find out where he is if he's still in ninth or whatnot. I gotta get some some position. I gotta find my way in up the field here. Come on. Let's make some, let's make some moves. That's not quite the moves I had in mind. All right, come on. Move, get, please give me the room. I, I, I actually have the room, but there we go. Oh, might have given Wibbly a bit of a nudge. He's fine. Again, this is basically touring car racing. What we're pretty much doing, Rubbin is racing when it comes to touring cars. There's a because in these kind of races, contact is very often. Just, just watch. I mean, just if you've ever watched Brit British or uh, British or World Touring Car Championship, you will definitely know that to be the case. Man, it was a bit ugly around that corner, but we're still in the we're still winning, so. Oh, careful. Some of these bad corners I've I've taken. It's why they're keeping it close there. I gotta make some progress. There we go. That was pretty good. I managed to get at least a little bit of a distance. Let's get it down to fourth. There we go. Now we're, we're making some really good uh, corners here. We're definitely working our way up the field here. Working my way up the field. I'm already in first. What am I saying? I'm working my way up further ahead is what I should be saying. Giving myself a bit more leverage to get a bit more comfortable. Uh, I can't. Sometimes I just really can't English. Alright, come on. Keep it there. Get nice and close into there. That was good. Very good. Uh, 
Oop, got a bit of grass, but we're good. So where did he rank this time? Was he still ninth? He was... 10th. Come on, man. If you're serious about us winning some things, you, you gotta do better than that. You're letting the you're letting the team down with a measly six points. In fact, we not we don't even get second in the team standings because that U.S. All Tech took it, took it by two, and then Amber Bridge with 58. I have to do better than 10th, man. Come on. Plus, look at all the sponsors that you're not making. Anyways, we're gonna also get our license here for the American League one as well. Well done, Nitro. You burned the ARL Pro badge. You are now qualified to enter a lot more events in the US. That I know. And there it is, the ARL Pro. Well done, Nitro. Good driving. Way to pull out the win. There we go. Nearly two hundred thousand regardless. So anyways, our sponsors are Armor All, SRP Power, and Quick Shift. And there's, of course, the little, uh, little cutscene that shows that being opened up to us. Anyways, let's take let's take a look before I finish up the part here. Let's take a look at our sponsors. Our, and um, looks like we're not going to be going with any of these because they don't make any more money than what we cr I'm currently running with. So, no no changes there. Anyways, hopefully we'll. Hopefully Brown will at least start picking it up a little bit. We gotta get we he's gotta do better than that. Oh hey, Wata I'm actually just above Watanabe. I might I could bring him in, but it would cost me two hundred fifty thousand, so I don't know. Carl Townsend? No, oh, he's hmm. Oh hey, even Tom Whip Tom Willie, the guy that was re racing with it, that's not too bad. Very skillful, 170 but a hundred thousand. Not ver not the most consistent though. Huh, anyways. Like I said, I'll give Seth Brown a couple, a few chances, and if he just doesn't cut it, then well, we gotta we gotta find someone else. Anyways, but we'll see how that goes down in the next part. So stay tuned for that. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you on the next one.